Fuck Camaro. Hey, what's up guys? Canadians here. And well, today is somewhat of a special video because as you guys notice there's no more Camaro around and I felt like doing a vlog about that and uh, even my main channel still haven't heard about this So, I know it's been a while since uh, I did an actual vlog on this channel and so did Colin, but as I said in my last one, he's somewhat busy, so I can't really blame him for that and uh, I can only blame myself for not being active. So, as you guys can notice, hey, I know, stupid phone on the bench, activate the sensors and uh, well, yeah, that was the noise if you guys wondered so, um, as you guys can see, I'm not in the Camaro anymore and, oop, that was tricky and uh, the reason is that I bought this uh, Scion FRS and the whole reason is that um, my job has been really rough on my side so I had to get rid of the car the car was getting too expensive and honestly the mileage on it sucked so bad compared to this car that I couldn't really use it so yeah I switched to a Scion FRS uh, the only thing on it is a TRD intake and uh, axle back so if you guys wondered for the mods and this is the first vehicle that I own legally that is standard in about 10 years. And uh, yeah, it's different, that's for sure. So that happened. Uh, another thing is I've started uh, hiking and whatnot. And I thought about maybe doing videos about it, which would be somewhat cool with one of my buddy. And yeah, doing that I started losing weight, uh, I'm trying to change a lot of things in my life around and basically I'm trying that in the next two years I'll be able to afford my own place, which right now I couldn't do with a Camaro because I don't know if I told you guys but I own another car and the Camaro with that car was getting somewhat expensive. So, I decided that for the greater good, I'll get rid of the car with the, the longest lease and, well not lease, the longest, uh, uh, fuck, I lost my word, this is where it shows that I'm French, the, the longest term, the longest term, and the Camaro had four years to go and my Kia Optima, which is my second car, only had a year and a half left. So, I said, I might as well get rid of it. And honestly, at first it really hurt, because, uh, well, I love that fucking car, I had it for a year now. But, things have to move on, and really now, I've been enjoying this little car a lot. Because I live in a very curvy area, except for when I'm going in the city, which I'm doing right now. The only issue is, that car is so slow compared to the Camaro, it's fucking nuts. But the steering wheel is fucking responsive, which is fun. So yeah, otherwise, uh, I mean, as I said, my job has been uh, slowing down a bit, and to the point where I lost up to 10 hours weekly, uh, which is 
freaking nuts on a paid stub. I mean, it shows a lot. This is the first video I do in this car using these glasses, so I'm very sorry if the sound doesn't come out as good, because I know that car is a lot more noisier than Camaro was interior-wise. So. This is the first video I do in this car using these glasses, so I'm very sorry if the sound doesn't come out as good, because I know that car is a lot more noisier than Camaro was interior-wise. So. This is so weird to get used to again. I guess it helped that I am a forklift operator and I'm used to actually using levers and a neutral pedal, which basically mimic my the clutch in this. But yeah, <laughs> but as I said, even my main channel, I still haven't done any video about this car because I'm waiting for a nice sunny day to present itself. So, hey, Colin, I don't know if you can see it. Look in the rear view. I know you want one of those. You don't want the R bar, so. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So technically, I've only owned this car for two days now. So this is just me driving two days into having a manual. And I'm very happy with the progress I'm making. But then again, I learned to drive in a fucking manual Lancer before, ten years ago. So I guess it's slowly coming back. But yeah, no, uh, this channel, I mean, I've been quiet because I don't game as much and whatnot. So, I, I mean, I could make gaming videos, but outside of Dark Soul and The Crew, I haven't really played anything else. And I feel that The Crew videos of me just driving around would be kind of boring. So... So instead, I mean, instead of driving around using the crew or whatnot, I might as well drive around myself, right? I mean, now especially till I got a four banger instead of a V8, I can drive a lot, a lot, a lot more. I mean, this car last last night cost me 45 bucks to fill up, which is not too bad compared to the usual 80 bucks that I'm used to. So, so as a good old Canadian, I'm getting myself some Tim Horton coffee and. Hopefully I don't stall it uh, during the drive through because the one thing I still have trouble with is going at very low speed because all I think about is, oh my god, I'm going to burn that clutch, I'm going to burn that clutch, I'm going to burn that clutch and don't give it enough gas and I stall and yeah. So instead of fucking burning the clutch, I burn my starter. You know, because that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just, while I'm at it, I'll give you a quick short round. This is the interior. If you wonder what that is, usually that's where the heated seats are. That's base model shit. Pretty nice seats. Nice bolstering. And I'll have to do a review of that car on my main channel. Yeah, that was the quick tour of the FRS from the interior. And it sucks because it's raining today and yesterday I wasn't confident enough to make a video with me learning while, well, while learning. Because yesterday morning I was pretty bad at gauging where my clutch was and whatnot. And Today at least I know how to use it properly, so 
decide to make the video, but yeah, this is supposed to be a big downpour today, which sucks. And I don't know the car enough to go drifting or something, and I'm supposed to take care of the car for about a year and a half and try not to burn off the tires until my Optimize finally paid off. By the way, this just letting you guys know, this is my first Japanese car that I ever own, and honestly, I wouldn't have never thought my first Japanese car would be a Toyota product, because I'm not a Toyota guy, but it helped that the heart of the engine is a Subaru, which is one of my favorite brands out there when it comes to Japanese. Actually, it, they are my favorite brand, so yeah. I don't, I don't even know if I would have bought this car if it wasn't for a Subaru Boxer in there. And also, um, I bought a, an external microphone that's coming into the mail and I'll be able to uh, attach it to my phone. So I'm gonna be able to use those glasses or my GoPro as a uh, filming action thing, as a filming tool and use my phone for the uh, sound file which is pretty neat I mean I'm not a big cinematic guy like I don't I'm not a big editing I don't do anything special but I just thought that this would be neat you know just to make better videos oh shit almost stalled it right there that's a nice fucking camper what you got a grand 3 3 foncé Yes, that's it. Thank you. Good old large triple triple dark roast. This fucking truck is zugging me the fuck out and I hate it. This clutch is also noisy as fuck. You challenger. Challengey, challengey. I was gonna say Charlie or Challenger, and I said Challengey. Jesus fuck. <laughs> hey guys, there's my fucking brand new Challengey SRT8 main. You like it? No, it's not a Challenger. It's a Challengey. Yeah, I know. Bad joke. Oh well. That's who I am. I make stupid jokes. <laughs> hey, what up? Merci. Obviously, I started right there. Subaru WRX in blue. That's one thing, Subaru make a fucking nice blue. But, I'm all about red cars. I gotta give it to Toyota, the TRD axle back they put on this car sound really fucking good. And honestly, I really like that these are even length feathers because as much as I like Subarus, I'm not a super big fan of the uneven length ones. I don't mind it in the low RPM, but at high RPM it just sounds like 4 cylinder that's misfiring. So if I ever mod this car, it's probably going to be even lengths. So yeah. Hey, I guess I'm seeing a bunch of WRX today. So yeah guys, hopefully I'll be able to make a lot more videos, I mean, as I said, I've been quiet and it's just really, life's been busy and I didn't really add anything to film, so I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next videos, Canadian out.